Well, good morning and welcome to the morning edition here at Daryl Lorette Cafe. I'm your host, Daryl Lorette. Well, it's turning out to be quite the morning. I'm feeling still half asleep. We'll say that. Okay, I'm still feeling half asleep, but uh, nonetheless, I was managing uh, just fine up until about a moment ago. No, seriously. I was just going to say, yeah, 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 yeah. I just came from the kitchen. That's right, I, I, I actually just came from the kitchen, sat down, and then started recording this video because I had to make myself some breakfast. So, my breakfast is uh, it's ready to eat. Mmm. I woke up this morning about uh, 2 o'clock feeling kind of, I don't know, I think I had butterflies in my stomach. It felt like I had butterflies in my stomach. Maybe I was just hungry, I don't know. So yesterday, yesterday I did my laundry. Well, I need to get some fresh bananas, these bananas. I had to pick some bananas up at the grocery store and they were, they were almost out of bananas. All they had left was scraps. So I had to take the scraps. They taste awful because they were kind of like ripe, too ripe. Well, not too ripe, but I don't like them when they're ripe. I like them when they're a little green. I like them when they're a little green. Oh, what's that, a cup car? Garbage truck or something. Yeah, so yesterday I did my laundry. I got a, I got a note on my, uh, on the door downstairs from UPS and the only identifier that it was for me was the fact that it had the number 21 on it and um, there's a truck again and it went back the other way. 21 and uh, well that's my apartment number 21 God don't tell anybody Jesus Christ I'll have all kinds of people at my door anyway so this is from UPS so there's no way I can confirm that it's actually for me like it didn't have my name on it so it's like you know I didn't say Dear Lorette Cafe or anything like that it just had the number 21 on it and it said this is, was the second time we tried to deliver this parcel and I'm assuming it's from the United States because I sent away for a t-shirt and a sweatshirt and, and a uh, Bruce Lee presentation plaque of some sort and uh, I'm assuming it's that because uh, that's the only thing I'm waiting for in the mail and no one else lives here on the side of the building anymore so but the funny thing is when I try to call UPS or even log on to the website it doesn't say you know I can't find out uh, I can't talk to a human being I, all I get is a recording and the website won't tell me anything other than what I already know so I had to arrange so I there was no guarantee that I could because I can't buzz people in downstairs there's no buzzard system so I can't hear anybody knocking on the door or anything like that and they can't get in the building unless they yank the they yank the door open so instead of uh, they gave me the option where I could pick it up so I uh, I opted because they were going to deliver it try to deliver it one more time and they want me to pay them see I already paid the um, Bruce Lee Enterprises uh, like uh, th almost 30 bucks to deliver it 
but I guess that only got it to Canada and UPS wants now to charge me a $23.19. I got to pay them $23.19 and if I don't pay it, they're going to ship it back to the U.S. So this is what I think it is and hopefully it is because I got to go way to hell down to the east end. Even further than Purolator, UPS is even further than Purolator in the east end. And I'm going to have to take a bus down there starting either today. Well, I can't do it today. I'm going to have to go down tomorrow. Tomorrow i got to go to the dentist. So I think after I go to the dentist tomorrow, I'm going to go to pick up my parcel. Because Friday, I don't want to do it on a Friday because i got other things to do on Friday. Ooh, that part of the banana was real ripe. I chopped up one of the bananas and the middle part was really ripe. You know how it turns kind of dark. It gets really mushy. You could make some banana cream pies out of it if you could cook. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's what I got to do tomorrow. I got to go to the dentist. I'm going to have to go all the way down to the east end see if I can pick up this parcel and I gotta pay $23.19 to pick it up because I'm gonna have to pay UPS for delivering it or maybe I don't know where they picked it up but so altogether I gotta pay 50 bucks over 50 bucks to pick up a parcel that uh, cost me what it cost me over a hundred so oh my god it's unbelievable it's like you know it's like double dipping your chip So I found that rather disturbing that I would, it's the first time I've ever had to pay, assuming that uh, this is my parcel that I've been waiting for, it would be the first time I ever had to pay two different uh, companies to ship a parcel. Like I ordered something all the way from China and once it got to uh, Canada it just went to Canada Post uh, and not a courier. Like if I if I buy anything from a computer company that I, the computer company that I deal with, they uh, pay they you know they ship it through Purolator, and I don't have to pay for it. Like I don't have to go and pay, f I don't have to go to Purolator and pick it up and pay them. You know they it gets paid through the uh, computer company pays for it. I guess it's included included in the price. But I tell you, I'll never use UPS. And I won't be able to, I don't think I'll probably order anything from Bruce Lee Enterprises anymore because they're going to charge me 30 bucks to deliver something to me and then I got to pay another delivery company another 20 bucks. That's like, you know, that's ridiculous. It, it should go from the United States Postal Service to, to the Canadian Postal Service and then I should be able to pick it up at the drugstore for nothing. You know, at the postal outlet. That would be nice, Shannon Lee. Thanks a lot. I'm stuck with two two uh, bills for shipping or whatever. I guess that's what I get for being a nice guy. Well, their system, if that's their system that, uh, see, they're probably mostly, well, you know, Bruce Lee's a fan all, all over the world, so, you know, whatever international shipping, I guess they, you know, th they must not be able to, um, you know, beyond the outside, you know, beyond shipping it inside the U.S., you know, once they do that, they ship it from wherever they ship it from in the U.S., Santa Monica, I assume. Wherever it goes from there, it's like, you know, it's out of their hands. And uh, how it gets delivered after it, they they deliver it from wherever they deliver it. And whoever they use, I don't know if they use the U.S. I think, well, I, I would think they use the U.S. Postal Service. 
instead of the U.S. Uh, well, the United Parcel Service, that's in the States, but it just doesn't seem like a very efficient way to deliver stuff when you have to pay twice for it. Like, all I got is, a, all I ordered is a t-shirt and a sweatshirt and, and a, a little plaque presentation. It, it's, I think it weighs a total of five pounds, it said on the, on the note. So like five pounds, that's like fifty dollars for five pounds, that's like ten bucks a pound. Of course, I ordered it. What did I order it? Two weeks Friday. So I guess I'm paying for the fact that I don't have to wait longer than two weeks to get it, I guess. And I got like, um, I remember giving my uh, email to, um, I think it's the U.S. Postal Service. And they haven't sent me any uh, emails to tell me uh, anything about the progress of my, uh, you know, the delivery status of the, uh, the items in question. So, you know, I can't, I can't really track the item in that, uh, you know, through that method. I can't, you know. I can't find out whether or not it went from the U.S. Postal Service to UPS or anything like that, you know. All they'll tell me is that it was shipped on this date from the the, the original shipping location of, uh, I think it's Santa Monica, and I think it actually went halfway, or not all, not, I think it actually went clear across the United States all the way down to Florida for some reason, and then up the East Coast. You know, it's pretty crazy. Anyway, well, I feel better now that I got to cry and complain to you about my my dilemma here. And, uh, well, I'm going to finish my oatmeal here and my tea. And uh, I got things to do today and places to go and people to see and... Uh, well, I'm just hoping I have a good day. So, here's hoping you have a good day, and here's hoping I have a good day. And this is Daryl Arad Cafe, wishing you a good day. And we'll see you next time. All right then. Bye-bye.